All right, welcome back to this new York Knicks, my NBA. The last time we left off was the trade a deadline. We noticed that Old Depot was not playing very well as our starting shooting guard. Uh, so that's uh, it's been a while, so I actually don't remember exactly what happened. Jay Crowder is on the team. I think we did we sign him out of free agency. I don't remember. Montres Harrell. So this is what the team's looking like. Like I said, it's been a while. School Henderson is a rookie. We are making a playoff push, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, we're currently the eighth seed in a really good Eastern Conference, may I add. Uh, so who's doing that for us, and what are we looking for? So obviously, probably R.J. Barrett, yep. And DeAndre Aid is having a great season. Uh, not a career year, but 17 points, 12 rebounds, and a block shooting of 43% from three. On how many attempts, though? Oh, uh, 20 for 46. You know what? That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Why is his three-point rating, by the way? Because if it's D 72, I might have him take more threes then. If it's a 72 three-point rating. Scoot Henderson is rookie year. He's average a 16 and 4. Uh, Jalen Brunson is hurt for almost the rest of the season. Uh, he's He was averaging 15 and 7. Old Depot's having a bad year. Obi Toppin, 9 points. I think I had Jalen Brunson starting at the 2 over Old Depot, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, no, no. I think I actually I actually had Jalen Brunson starting at the one. And Scoot Henderson was off the bench. But Jalen Brunson got hurt. Scoot got the starting spot. Gotcha. Mario Bailey is having a solid rookie campaign. Eight points on very efficient shooting. Um, Obi Toppin, nine points a game. I don't know if I'm going to adjust his shot tendencies. I probably should. Uh, because he's starting at our power forward. I want him to take a little bit more shots. So we're, we're, playing, we're playing solid. We're definitely playing solid. One thing I'm going to do is... I am definitely going to, so I'm going to put eight in shot tendency at an 80. I'm going to move up his three-point shot tendency. I see it's out of four. If you have a 72-3, I want you shooting some threes. So we'll put it up to a 40. Obi Toppin, what's your shot tendency at? It's out of 58. Nah, bro. If you're going to be our future power, he's, he's 25, though. Oh, Depot, I'm turning your shot tendency down a bit because you're just not playing well. Brunson's fine. RJ had a 99 I like. Uh, Quentin Grimes, I'll bump yours up to a 60. Other than that, I think that's fine. I'm not going to touch anyone else's shot tendencies. So we'll leave it as is. Uh, but yeah, I, so Oladipo. Maybe we should try and find a trade for him and just give the starting spot to Quentin Grimes for the rest of the season, even though he's not really shooting efficient. That's a two-point scoring as one of his strengths. Oh, no, it was three. I was going to say, why would it be two-point scoring? Yeah, Old Depot, 40% from the field, 31 from three, just ain't it. I'm going to be honest. If anything, I could bench him. I could bench him because I like the way our team is. Just start maybe even Amari Bailey, to be honest, at the shooting guard position. Because uh, right now we're running a 10-man rotation. Obviously, we don't have Brunson. We signed Iguodala out of free agency for some extra depth. So I think I might just run the team as is because Old Depot is on a team-friendly deal. Uh, 14 and then goes down. He's got a team option. He is 31. So, you know what? I think I'm actually going to move him to the bench. Uh, but for who do I want to run one? Quentin, I can't say his name. Quentin Grimes next to Scoot. Um, or do I want, who's better at defense? Or do I want to run Amari Bailey? So, Bailey's defense is a B plus. Quentin Grimes is also a B plus. Okay. That doesn't help my situation here. Mario Bailey is, is shooting back. I, I think I'm going to start Bailey for the rest of the season. It's it's going to be an experiment for sure. Old Depot is going to keep his minutes as is. I'm going to lower. Actually, I'm going to lower Old Depot a little bit. And I'm going to give Mario. He's only going to get 25, 35. I'm going to give the rest of DeAndre Ayton. Um, I'm going to take some minutes away from Jay Crowder. And I'm going to give those to Obi Toppin. And let's hope we can keep this playoff push alive. We're going to simulate the rest of the season. First, I'm going to check contract extensions. I'm not sure if anyone. Nope. All right. So who are going to be our free agents, though, that we need to worry about? Obi Toppin, but he should have uh, his qualifying offer. Melo, he sh honestly should retire. Yep, he is going to retire. So that's great. He will retire in New York. Nick uh, Iggy is going to retire also. Uh, Matt Thomas, I'm not going to bring back. Lou Will is going to retire. Hendricks Williams, I'm not going to bring back. So, yeah, no. So, really, Obi Toppin is the only one I'm worried about bringing back. So, simulate the rest of the regular season. We lost two, we lost three games. Not great for a playoff push. 
we have a really good record too. 32 and 26 is not bad. Mari Bailey, there ain't no way you just got hurt, bro. You're you're playing. You're playing. It ain't looking good though. Eh, okay, we got Brunson back. That's all that matters. How did Bailey do? His shooting stats went up. Uh 10.17. Okay, he played pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. But we got we got our we got our player back. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to run Scoot and Jalen Brunson together. Uh, I think I'm gonna run Scoot at the two. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run Scoot at the two over um, Jalen Brunson. The Brunson's gonna be our number one point guard. And then someone's gonna lose minutes here off this bench. Someone's gonna fall out of the rotation. Quentin Grimes is on fire, but I think it's gonna be Quentin Grimes. His shooting efficiency is so bad. So Quentin Grimes, I am gonna take your minutes away. You're gonna lose your spot, and we're gonna give it to those minutes to Amarley Bait. Amarley, why do I keep calling him Amarley? Amari Bailey. Uh, we're gonna take some minutes away from these guys. Scoot Henderson. I'm gonna take those minutes away. I'm gonna take. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. Now that we got our second best player, third best player back. There ain't no way he just got hurt again, bro. Jalen, you're playing through it, bro. And we are going. We have gone on a massive losing streak, bro. And. <laughs> Wow, this is not there goes our playoff chances. We still have the play in, but we're going on a win streak at the end of the season. <laughs> where it doesn't well, I guess it does matter. Maybe we can make a playoff push. We're starting to put games together. We're starting Jalen. Bro, I'm about to trade you with these injuries. You can't keep an injury like this. We are going on we you know we ended the season really strong. Jokic is your MVP. Victor Wembanyama on the Pistons is your rookie of the year. Naz Reed, sixth man of the year. Chet Holmgren, defensive player of the year. And most improved. Uh, and then Eric Spilster of my favorite team, the Miami Heat, is your coach of the year. Jimmy Butler, all-NBA first team. You'll love to see it. Uh, LaMelo Ball, Luka Doncic, John Morant, D. Book, who... Okay, only sprained his left toe. We have 33 when we took Andre Eaton away from him. KD, Jason Tatum. Joel Embiid is out for basically the playoffs. So that is not good for the Sixers. Garland, Trey Young, Zion, Giannis, and Cat. Here is your all defensive teams. We're not going to get anyone on any teams uh, besides the rookie teams. Oh, he outplayed Scoot Henderson. Okay. I see. Did we play in at least? We're, okay, so we're the seventh seed. So all we have to do is beat this Pacers team and where we got the seventh spot. So who do we prefer playing? Miami is at two. Boston's at one. And Boston's got Mike Conley. I don't want to play either of them. I want to say I prefer playing the Heat. But they're my favorite team. And they're still really goddamn good compared to the Celtics. But in 2K, I prefer playing the Miami Heat. The Jazz made the play. And who do they trade to get... They trade Derek White? Wow, okay. This is, I, I, I mean, I guess... They also have Drummond. They traded Derek White for him. So going up against the Pacers. Uh, their team is practically the same. They got a uh, right man swing over here and Draymond Green. I think we got this in the bag. Let's check out the final stats on the season. Gotcha, the points went down, actually. Oh, uh, that sucks. 35% from three, though. Did he take? Yeah, he definitely took threes. So I like to see that. Um... Barrett, 23 a game. Did he go down from last season? No, he actually went up. Uh, Jalen Brunson, 15 and 7. Scoot Henderson, 15. Old Depot. Efficiency went up off the bench. Yeah, that's something I like to see. Um, off the bench, he averaged 30. He played a lot better off the bench. Look at these shooting splits. Everything was the same, uh, but the shooting splits. 46% compared to 40. And 36% compared to 31. That, that's all you need to see. Obi Toppin... All the way up to 11 points a game on good efficiency. Since the All-Star game, he was averaging 14 points, 6 rebounds, on uh, 51% from the field, and 36 from 3. Definitely plan on extending him. Glad I upped his shot tendency because he played a lot better. Um, Marley Bailey. I keep calling him a Marley. It's because of the Bailey part. Uh, he averaged 8. Quentin Grimes, we knocked out of the rotation. And that's about it. So, come playoff time, I'm going to shorten the rotation. I'm sorry, Melo, but... You're no longer going to get minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, Montrose Harrow, your minutes going to go down. Same thing with you, Jay Crowder. I'll leave that as is. We need our stars playing as much as possible. 
Especially you, RJ. Especially you. We're going to give RJ and DeAndre Ian the same amount of minutes. All right. Can we knock out the Indiana Pacers in game one of the play-in to grab that seventh seed? Uh, Please? No. We're actually going to lose. We're going to get blown out here. Not what I expected at all. N Knicks basketball. What's going on here? All right. Oh, I accidentally sent the play and we lost. Bruh, you're serious. We, we got blown out, too. We didn't even deserve the beer. We didn't deserve the beer. Got blown out of the water by the Magic and the Pacers. Oh, okay, we didn't make the playoffs, so it's not even going to show me the stats anyways. Wow. Disappointment. The seven C falls out of the playoffs. Yikes. Well, let's see who's going to win the championship. Miami almost didn't get out of the first round, and they ended up losing to Cleveland. Anthony Edwards is your Western Conference Finals MVP, and Jason Tatum is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And the Minnesota Timberwolves end their drought and win their first championship in franchise history. Carl Anthony Towns is your Finals MVP. Offseason time, Melo is retired. LeBron, you are definitely not retiring. Yep, a lot of retirements. Al Horford, you didn't get a ring, buddy. I apologize. I was about to say you did, but I forgot that they lost. Uh, Brooke Lopez retired. I'm trying to go through to see who shouldn't retire, but most of these people can uh, be making lay shit up. Ricky Rubio, you're only 33. I don't know why you're retiring. Honestly, Ricky Rubio, no, no, no. You, you, you're not retiring. Demarcus, I hate to say it, but you, you can head out. Um, other than that, I really don't care about anyone else but yon you can head out staff time is greg popovich it's all right and you can end the misery you can end the misery leave Melo is your only hall of famer does not get his jersey retired by the knicks definitely will in real life especially if he's gonna get retired by the uh nuggets which honestly i don't even know because Jokic reached his number i don't think Melo's gonna get his number retired if Jokic is still wearing it because that'd just be weird uh, so we are probably gonna end up with the 16th overall pick the venom went from the first seed last year all the way down to the eighth pick and the spurs are projected number one and the winner is the sacramento kings we are still at number 16 and we have no other picks besides that i'm probably i might end up making this pick staff signings do we want to we might we might move on with tom thibodeau i'll view candidates just to see what we got here but Tom Thibodeau has, has just not been it. I want, like, real-life candidates, though. All right, we did fire Tom Thibodeau, and we're going to hire a defensive-minded head coach. Gene Matthews, I was trying to hire Billy Donovan. It didn't, didn't happen. I wanted to hire a, a real-life head coach, and it, it just was not it. Uh, we, I guess we need a head scout. Um, I mean, what, what do they in basketball IQ? Is that what they... I don't really know. That's a domestic, domestic scout. Um, I guess this guy knows this stuff. You want to be our head scout? You can be our head scout, bud. There you go. All right. Uh, so we got our head coach. Defensive-minded head coach. Because we were mid-tier in offense. Uh, top 10 worst in defense. NBA draft. Let's check the prospects here. Uh, did I down... Okay, so I actually didn't even load in a draft. No, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Michael Williams is here. Uh, so who do they have us projected picking here? Uh, at 16, they have us picking a small forward, Mookie Cook. A 2K, Mookie Cook. A center, Delano Wright. From NBA.com. Okay, so it looks like a Mookie Cook is it. Uh, I don't think we're going to make any tra Actually, we could package this with uh, Victor Oladipo. I keep forgetting it's L. So the 16th pick in Oladipo, what can that get us? Just to try and get off this contract, get him off the team. Can that get us something? Kevin Love in a first isn't terrible. I know he had a really bad year, but if the Warriors are trying to get off that contract, they get a nice shooting guard, but it wouldn't make much sense. It's a team that more or less needs a shooting guard or like a salary dump team. All right, I'm going to do this trade right here with the Utah Jazz. Oladipo. 16th overall pick and our second round pick this year 
to the Utah Jazz for Andre Drummond, who's on a two-year deal, $15 million. If anything, we'll let him play out that deal. We could buy him out. But we could use a backup center because I don't plan on playing Montres Harrell. I don't even know if he's still on the roster, to be honest. Uh, he should be, I think. Yeah, he is, but, I mean, he's already 30. More of a defensive-minded center in uh, Andre Drummond. And he's a glitch in 2K. And we get a first-round pick. That is a done deal. We have a second-round pick here I guess I'll make. I'll just pick best available. I guess best overall, Lance Sheldon. And I guess we have another second overall, a uh, second round pick. Um, We had this guy fully scouted, a point guard. I'll draft you. I will draft you. Let's see how good our scouts are. This is the draft. I really don't know any of these people besides Mikey Williams. Hey, this Cook guy, he was 70 overall. He went number eight. DJ Wagner, I know that name. Mikey Williams goes to the Thunder. Weird pickup for the Thunder, unless you plan on playing Josh Giddy at the small forward, I guess. So, the Jazz picked up a point guard, I'm not even saying your name, at the 16th overall pick. Not a terrible pick for them. And on the first day of free agency, we are going to offer Obi Toppin four-year, $48 million. Um, I'm going to actually probably decline it on the last day. I should actually wait. Because 2K is going to do pull the glitch... Where, yeah, I see, I, I made a mistake. So, I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to edit that contract because 2K still has that glitch. All right. Obi Toppin has his contract for year 48 mil. Now, I guess we can look at the uh, rotation. Uh, Scoot Henderson is probably going to start at the shooting guard next year. You know, I'm just going to move his position to shooting guard. Goes down to a 78, really? I guess I'll leave him as is. Uh, Quentin Grimes, I don't even know if he's going to get minutes next year. He's really got to work on his offensive uh, efficiency. Uh, obviously, R.J. Barrett or Amari Bailey. Amari, every time. Amari Bailey. Jay Crowder, probably not even going to play. He's probably going to regress. So, Obi Toppin will start. And then we have Drummond. So, backup power forward. And I guess backup shooting guard. Mainly backup power forward. And Jared Vanderbilt's here. That will help our defense big time. Uh, I think he's restricted. Is he not? Uh, Jared Vanderbilt. Is he restricted? No, he's unrestricted. Bro, I'm giving him that contract. That's worth it for Jared Vanderbilt. I always do flat. We'll do that, and then we'll do a team option on the third year. Let's hope he accepts that because that would be a huge pickup, and he does. We just got Vanderbilt on a steal, and shooting yard wise, we can pick up a player like Luke Kennard for the offense, and I will definitely do that. He only wants a minimum. I'll give him a I'll give him a three year minimum to be honest. He should accept that. I don't see why he wouldn't because he doesn't have any other offers. And he does. Anthony Davis just signed. So Kawhi goes back. Lamelo Ball goes back. Anthony Davis goes to Seattle to join the force. Wow. So does DeJounte Murray. So DeJounte Murray and AD both team up in Seattle. Siakam takes AD spot in LA. DeMar DeRozan goes to Detroit. Uh, those are the big changes. Tobias Harris goes to Utah. Other than that, nothing really big besides those but seattle's building a team down there you'll love to see it i'm gonna simulate the last day sabonis is still there sabonis is going to sign with probably the pelicans i'm assuming and kyle lowry's still a free agent he's gonna sign with the wizards and kaboom so a free agency i want to see who signed where uh sabonis went back to the pacers patrick williams goes to the hawks and where did Kyle Lowry go? Manuel quickly goes to the Clippers. Oh, goes back. I guess he was already there. Uh, where's Lowry? Is Lowry still free? Lowry might still be a free agent. Oh, no. He, go, he went to the Wizards. Okay. Player progression. RJ Barrett goes up one. Aiton also one. Scoot Anderson goes up three. Drummond only went down one, which I will take. Obi Toppin went up one. And no one else went down. Jay Crowder stood the same. Montez Harrell stood the same. So, this team. This is the last year I'm going to have as a team as is. <laughs> Like, this is it. If this team doesn't get a top five seed, because I have high hopes, if they're not a top five seed, big trades coming in, probably going to be Jalen Brunson, because I want to keep the core of RJ and Aiton. I want to keep these two together. So if we, once again, underperform, Jalen Brunson, he got a player option. If he accepts that, he will be traded. He, he will be traded, because there will be, need to be changes. But that is the team going into the season. I'm going to start Scoot Henderson at the two. 
Uh, Quentin Grimes, this is also a proven year for you. If you're not playing well at the trade deadline, you're getting traded. So that's going to be for me. Leave a like, guys. If you enjoy. Subscribe, guys. Are new. Appreciate you.